Hi guys. So here I am down at Seaside and I'm going to read to you a story by the author Eric Carl. He has many good books and he wrote this story. A House for Hermit Crab. Look, it's a hermit crab on the front cover. He's got this beautiful spiral looking shell. Let's get into the book and find out what it's about. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the ocean floor. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. There he is getting out of his shell. It's kind of nervous when you have to leave something you've known to find something you don't know yet or try something new. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right, but it looked so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea enemies. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a sea enemy. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. These are the beautiful sea enemies. In April, Hermit Crab passed the flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. Some, how handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked, up the, picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. Oh, look at the beautiful coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the floor. Oh look, a bunch of snails. I find snails at the beach all the time. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shelf. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. Look how spiky they are. They had sharp prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, said a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near the shell. You know, I noticed something. Every time Hermit Crab meets a new friend, he gives them a compliment. Remember that word, compliment? Yeah, it means to say something nice to people. He complimented the sea urchin by saying, how fierce you look. Let's see who else he meets. And is he gonna give them a different compliment? Let's find out. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. 
How dim it is, murmured the sea enemy. It's gloomy, whispered the starfish. How murky, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. These are not compliments. They were complaining a bit about how dark it was at the bottom of the sea where they were. But let's see what happens next. In September, hermit crab spotted a school of lantern fish. They glow. Whoa. They, the lantern fish were darting through the dark water. How bright you are. There's the compliment, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied the lantern fish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, hermit crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are. Another compliment. Hermit crab is so courteous. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered hermit crab. He had collected a lot of wonderful treasures and other sea creatures to be with him near his house. But in November, hermit crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, hermit crab had grown. We grow too. Sometimes we grow right out of our clothes and sometimes we might even grow out of our house. If you lived in a house that was too small and your family is bigger, you might need a new house. And you might have started off in a nursery school with babies, but when you grow and you're not a baby anymore, you can't be in a nursery school. You've gotta go to a bigger school. So we outgrow things too, just like hermit crab. So Hermit Crab loved his friends, the sea enemy, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, said Hermit Crab. They're like a family. How could I ever leave them? In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I've outgrown my shell, she said. Did you know of a place for me? I've outgrown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You're always welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. Hermit crab is gonna share his home. The following January, Hermit crab stepped out of this little crab, stepped out and let the little crab move in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit crab, as he was waving goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon, he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. And it looked, well, a little bit plain. Sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. How do you think Hermit Crab's feeling about the new adventure? Good. I think he's super excited to decorate his new shell with new things. Wow, he's being very brave. The end.